Oh, how do you all grab yourself a drink? It is time for some Path of Exile discussion. Today is another day of teaser season for patch 3.23 and the upcoming Affliction League. The biggest day of teasers is actually going to be when this video is about one and three quarter days old. That's going to be the main live stream announcement and I'll be extensively streaming that over on Twitch then putting a long form summary of it up on YouTube because long form videos paradoxically are actually a bit easier to make than short ones. Then I'll edit it down into something that is more of a summary afterwards. So that's what you can expect from this channel two days from today. Anyways, let's go through today's news. Firstly, there was one thing that's not really teaser season related. There's a summary of the November 2023 events. Because it's kind of outside the scope of this video, I'll put a link to it down in the description below. It's definitely worth having a read of though. There's some interesting stats about how popular each of these events was. A major congratulations to the very small number of people who managed to reach level 100 in the Crangled Passives event, because that event was actually quite difficult. Okay, so let's have a look at today's main teaser. This is a quality of life change that is almost a nothing change, but there is something that is hidden in here, and that is the character names. So. Character slots used, 20 of 24. This is just a tiny little quality of life thing that's being added in patch 3.23. That was the official rationale for this post. However, there are some very odd looking character names there. Q, E, W, V, L, M, Z. I encourage you to go and type that on a keyboard. You'll see that this is not someone just mashing random keys on the keyboard. These letters have been carefully chosen. Likewise, the second name, Kuvipamam Vibukuta. I think that's how I would pronounce that name. This is not a name that someone types by accident. In fact, this is a double cipher. There are two layers of coding that's been used on this. I'll put a link down in the description below to the thread where this was all uncovered over on the Path of Exile subreddit, where Neversync, who's well known in the Path of Exile community for his loop filters on filterblade.xyz, he seems to have been the first to crack the code. It is a Caesar cipher first. Caesar ciphers are where you replace every letter with a few letters forward in the alphabet. For example, if you wanted to encode the word B-A-D, bad, you might advance everything forward seven letters in the alphabet. B is the second letter of the alphabet, you replace it with the ninth letter, which is I. A is the first letter, so you replace it with the eighth, which is H. And D is the fourth letter, you replace it with the eleventh, which is K. If you go past the end of the alphabet, you just loop around back to the start. The cipher that's been used has been adding eight letters onto each of these. So I wonder became Q-E-W-V-L-M-Z, and in alt essentials, became that monstrosity that I'm not going to try to pronounce again. I wonder, in alt essentials. This is an interesting choice by Grinding Your Games. These are sentences that are nonsense, but there's clear structure there, and that means that this code was definitely right. If you flip a coin six times and you get heads every time, that could just be chance. But if you flip a coin 75 times and it comes up heads every time, then you're not dealing with a fair coin. And getting this sort of cipher hidden in here is not something that happens by chance. The lead hypothesis for what I wonder in Alt Essentials means is that it is an anagram for Sentinel, Atlas, Win or Die, with Win or Die meaning Ultimatum. However, there are definitely other anagrams that are possible. Once you have as many letters as this, you can have a lot of different anagrams. And as you would expect from Reddit, the top reply on Neversync's post is a very not safe for work alternate anagram that because of community guidelines rules, I probably shouldn't read out on YouTube, but it relates to having a very intense saw close to where you sit. You can have a look down in the description below, but like I say, it is not safe for work. So keep that in mind if you're watching this on your break at work or something like that. Anyways, that appears to be the entirety of the news today. One overt teaser, one covert teaser, and some interesting stats from the November events. I'm going to leave it there. May your Valobs have interesting results.